what is going on everybody phoenix gaming here thank you for stopping by and today we are going to be talking about the belfry league that was just released after maintenance this morning so before we get started go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you don't miss division 2 content and make sure to follow me on my twitter handle right there in the bottom left hand corner so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so with the Belfry League, we've got DCD Headquarters, Federal Emergency Bunker, Potomac Event Center, and the Manning National Zoo. For your other two challenges, we've got Outcast Blinded and the Outcast Elite Eliminated. So everything is pretty straightforward when it comes to the missions. But the one I wanted to focus on mostly was Manning National Zoo because Manning National Zoo itself is actually a very long mission because you're doing a lot of running, running around the whole entire uh, zoo park. So with that, um, I'm going to go right into uh, the best way to complete uh, Manning National Zoo. So the best way to efficiently run Manning National Zoo because it's so big is to run a Lady Death DPS build. So straight DPS. I did try running Manning National Zoo to get the um, blinded outcast, but the problem with that is you're spending too much time trying to aim your firefly in order to blind the outcast around. And you're wasting that time in order to actually get across the map now if the map was smaller and you had the amount of time that you do have then yeah i could see that uh using your firefly the blinder firefly and using a different build would be beneficial that way you could pretty much knock out two birds with one stone however in this case because of the length of the map that the how the enemies are always all spread out it's best that you run lady death along with uh smg high damage high crit build so now that you have an understanding of how to accomplish uh, Manny National Zoo efficiently using the Lady Death High DPS High Crit build, now it's time to understand how to go about completing the last two challenges, the Elite Outcast Eliminations and then the Blinding Outcasts. So with this, I used two different variations of builds. The first one I ran with is going to be a hot, is a uh, six tier um, gear set of the Eclipse Protocol. And this gear set will you allow you to proc the indirect transmission, which, as you know, allows up to a 15 meter radius when you apply a status effects to the enemies. Now, with this, though, I noticed that it never actually proc the way it was supposed to, even if the enemies are so close together. I don't know if the Eclipse Protocol uh, four piece had an effect on the creeping death. Because with this, you're also running the Wyvern with a uh, Creeping Death attached to it, and then your chest piece of choice. For me, I was using Chameleon, so I used the Fenris uh, chest piece with the Glittery Talon on it to get that extra DPS. And then I spec'd out the actual gear set with status effects just to try and keep it on there longer. But uh, in this case, because of the four piece Eclipse Protocol and the Creeping Death, I don't know if that actually had an effect when it came to uh, proccing the status effects. Now, this is gonna be the best way for you to actually use your Firefly. You can also run Mechanical Animal as well and get the overcharge if you really want to. I used it in place of the Chameleon a few times, but it really didn't make much of a difference. Um, you are gonna be dealing with a lot of uh, DPS, um, downplay because you know you're spec more into the actual skill tier rather than the dps so it might take you a little longer but for the focus right now you're only going to be focusing on using the firefly so with the firefly you know just find cover because you are going to be squishy because of that 726,000 k find cover aim your firefly and then you'll constantly keep uh uh, applying those status effects especially if there's large groups so you almost want to have large groups like convoy patrols or something of that nature sometimes you'll get lucky come into the actual control point and you'll get those big groups of um, enemies and with this because you have the firefly and you have indirect transmission you have creeping death all of your status effects are just going to start spreading so that's very good so now that you have an understanding of what to actually use for your status effect build and using the Firefly consistently, the last build that I went into to finish off the elites is just using a high DPS crit chance build. And with this, I ran full DPS, the improv uh, build that I, uh, I posted on my last video. And it's just, it's full red, 
full DPS and uh, the ability to use those improvised gear pieces to also use the uh, mods associated with it. So with this, it was just using the chameleon, using a uh, spec out. Um, I used bloodsucker for the backpack chest and then the Fenris uh, chest piece had obliterate on it. Improvised gloves, knee pads and holsters so that you can use the mods attached to it. And then a mask for the Grupo. Um, and other than that, I mean, that was pretty much it in order to eliminate the elite outcasts. So now you're probably thinking, okay, you have your build set, you have your DPS build set, um, you have everything, all the knowledge that you need to do in order to make this as efficient as possible. So now what is the actual best way in order for you to complete these challenges? Well, the best way, again, uh, like I say in the beginning of the video, is to run the overgrowth control point. This is going to be your most efficient and your best way in order to complete the challenges for the Belfry League. Um, because you're constantly getting those elite enemies. These enemies are much more grouped together than the other uh, control points that the outcasts are running. Um, I did try using the uh, Riverside gas station. I also tried using the um, outcast control point in uh, downtown west, I believe it was. And it just it wasn't working. You know, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where these enemies were, trying to figure out what the best way was for the Firefly to use. And it, those two control points, Riverside and Downtown West, just were not good. So use your overgrowth control point. This will be beneficial to you. And then the best way. So what you're going to want to do is if you don't have this control point already reset, reset your control point. Go Start the control point off as normal, kill the enemy leader, uh, and then launch a flare in order to in order to bring your team or your allies in to help you. And what this is gonna do is as soon as you're able to um, bring your allies in, after the allies are brought in, you'll spawn the rest of the enemies, the second half of the control point. And then as soon as the enemy leader spawns with the second half of the control point, just aim for the enemy leader and eliminate the leader, go back to the attic like you just saw, and then go back to the overgrowth control point. Now you can either uh, run directly to the overgrowth control point, you know, it's less than 200 meters away, or if the allies are still there, you could just do a fast travel onto the allies and then you'll be good to go. And then you just constantly rinse and repeat. Eliminate the enemy leader, go back to the attic, and then go back to the overgrowth control point until you eliminate 250 outcasts for the elite. And other than that, guys, that is pretty much it for the rest of the uh, Belfry League. You can complete it within the week. Again, all the leagues that we've had in the last few seasons are two weeks long. Um, it is made that way so that people have a chance to, you know, hop on, do what they have to do, hop back off. Uh, I, for myself, like to just get done and out of the way. And really, there's nothing to it. Um, it's a lot of rinse and repeat. It's a lot of the same thing over and over again. But, you know, it is something to do. It is something to acquire. You get the backpack trophy, the eye, which is an Egyptian symbol, which is pretty cool. Um, I kind of like it. It's pretty interesting to see. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's all there really is to the Belfry League. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more Division 2 content. If you found this video informative, please go ahead, like, share, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video that I do post. And then if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle again is down there in the left-hand corner. And other than that, guys, I really hope you stay safe. Have a great Thanksgiving for all my uh, U.S. subscribers. And then I will catch you around in the next video. Take care.